Hello everybody, AOG Gaming here, back with another video on this slide, unfortunately. Um, so I just watched Dr. Sukun's video on Daddy Free to Play's message, and I predicted this in my last video. I said this update is going to make creators quit. <laughs> so I, I was right. <laughs> who who, who, who would have thought? Um, so I mean, it's just really sad. just so stupid we're gonna go to see daddy free to play's uh post because of course he hasn't been posting that's what i've been saying as well since he is basically the face of dislike when it comes to con creators um what well, community tab i don't even have a community tab unfortunately wait so where did he put it then Oh, community tab, I guess, right here. Officially quit this light. Okay, goodbye. Um, entire video, why quit? Because I think, don't think it matters at all, and I should just move on. Yes, exactly. Why does it not matter for him making a video, and why people should not be upset about that? It's because all content creators, including me, have been making videos for the past goddamn seven updates on what this light should fix and what they shouldn't be doing, and what they should go back on, yet they haven't listened to a single goddamn advice. The only thing that they've listened to is the fact that PTA, and when they had those uh, Esper updates, they were starting to ruin the game, so they did some minor tweaks, but really, that was just them releasing a character, which doesn't actually do much against that character. So I'm just like, okay. Um, and I, it's fine that he's not making a video, because this will put this slide in much bigger panic mode, and I love it. Because, oh my god, of course it has to be a fucking trash truck outside of my door right now. A fucking course. Well, I hope all of y'all can't hear that. It's loud as hell, though. It's just fucking retarded. Stupid, sorry. Um, we all probably knew this day would come and this chapter had to come in an unfortunate end. I mean, yeah. Pretty much. I I've been saying it for a while now, like... Basically, the past three updates I've said, well, the last two I've said, creators are going to quit. And they were already doing before, but I meant like the big creators, Daddy Free to Play. And last update, I said, this update, I'm pretty sure Daddy Free to Play is going to quit if they haven't done much other than just release these testers. And they did. That That's all they really did. And, and he just quit. So, I mean... If you follow my channel, you knew this was going to happen. This is this is, this is is what the state of the game was. And the problem was that all the other creators, instead of making like video after video on it, because I think that was the problem, right? We had videos where content creators were making content, but like they would only mention things wrong about the update once in a while. Whereas you had creators like me or other creators who were doing it constantly to show y'all that this is not okay. But the problem, I think, was that the creators then moved on from that and then continued to make regular content. And as a result, Dislike themselves saw this as, okay, we can still release good content and people are going to be okay with this. The problem with that was that all the problems started piling up, all these bugs, all these issues with the game. And as a result, it became too late for them to fix it. And that was the reason why Daddy Free to Play quit eventually. Not only that, but coupled with the fact that they weren't listening was the major problem. That's the reason why all these problems piled up. It's because they weren't listening because they thought, oh, we're still releasing good content. And I think it's not the creator's fault. It's just the way the business model works between the creators and dislike themselves. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, he didn't get fired, obviously. <laughs> This light would not have gotten rid of their biggest creator ever. In fact, they were probably trying everything to keep him, which is why he wasn't posting videos because he was trying to make the game better, but they were just trying to keep him on and make money. And he realized, you know what? Screw this. And you know what, Daddy Free to Play? You are a god. You are a legend. I applaud you. I think that's the right word, right? I, I clap. Bravo. You, you did the right thing, you know? As someone who was sponsored and... Basically, the face of this light, telling them, F you, no you, 
is the best thing you could do because that's all they've been doing to you. They've just been shafting you. And and then they tried to like hurt – not hurt you, but like they tried to reprimand you for saying the truth. And I was just like, really this slight? Really Lilith games? Really Fallout games? Like fuck playing any of their games. Fuck AFK Arena. Fuck AFK Journey when it comes out. I don't even play any of the other games because they all kind of suck. Screw playing this light now. It's this one, these two single companies that are ruining these games because they think that they can still make money without actually making a game. That's the thing. They're like, oh, this is content, but it's literally just pay for everything that we release. And that's not how games work. I'm sorry. You usually only do a one-time payment for that. Or there are in-app purchases, but it's still able to free-to-play, uh, grind free-to-play because the game is free. So it just comes down to that. <laughs> um, changing jobs. Gaming. Not revealing who in case the implicates the never for me. Don't feel sad or sentimental about the loss of dislike. Exactly. The fact that the seven updates and they tried to reprimand him, like, really? You're a goddamn company. Stay in your fucking line, dislike. You can't reprimand the content creator for being truthful. That is like the worst thing you can do. That was probably one of the biggest blows dislike took as just a company. The fact that they think they can go after their content creator for revealing the truth. Like this light. That was probably the part where I started distrusting you the most. And and people know because I started making videos on is this light really the company we thought it was? Like I was making videos on this light, not in a good view. And sure I wasn't getting views, but I wanted to really re release the truth. This game has been dying for a while. Ever since then, probably. There's been conflict between Daddy Free to Play and This Light since then. And the problem wasn't just that, it was the fact that they just wouldn't listen to either the other creators, Oxus, Kun, G Jazz, Altier. Like they just wouldn't listen to Maltreya. They wouldn't listen to all these other creators because they just didn't give a fuck about <laughs> people. And it's just like, really, you're gonna ignore the content creators, the ones who are literally marketing your game for the most part free, and just ruin it. So this is my last video on this light. I said when Daddy Free to Play quits, I would quit and I would delete the game. And that is literally what I'm going to do right now. It's really like I, I, I'm almost on the verge of tears. Like I, this is one of the games that I've loved. It's not only carried my channel forward, but it's just helped me just like cope with, you know, just everything in life. Stress, just things like that. Gaming is just one of the releases that you have in life. And this game was one of the biggest releases that I had. It was... A big part of like what I did every day like every day I would just not even for dailies like I would just sign in the morning and at night to do dailies at night and in the morning I would just grind play and you know look at the community tab look at what's going on in chat like I would be actively just on the game because it was that fun but after like honestly I would say at the beginning of this year this light started going downhill in terms of just their content because again they started diluting their gotcha pool so much with all these espers. There was a lot of bugs, and they kept releasing too many broken espers. So, honestly, they could have been dying since then, but really, it was the beginning of the summer that, that was the high tail of this light slowly dying because they were kind of shitting on my shitting on the dislike god, Daddy Free to Play. So, yeah, I mean, it's just like. You had such a good thing going, Farlight Games, and you just had to fucking ruin it. And it's not like anybody's surprised. That's the problem. It's like y'all are surprised, but we're not because we knew what was going to happen. And it's just like, I think companies should not make games. I think gamers should make games because they are the only ones who will make a game that is actually worth your time. Problem with that is no one will sponsor gamers unless they're backed by a company and then that company themselves will have rules and that gamer will have to follow that if they want to keep being employed so there's just a lot of caveats that comes with that as well um 
Instead, I feel odd, you know, my my day isn't even affected. Yeah. Well, I am affected monetarily. Exactly. It doesn't matter. The views, the money, it doesn't matter. It was the fact that this was such a great game, that it was such a gem in our hearts, and Lilith Games, Farlight Games, didn't listen and just said, nah, fuck y'all, we're just gonna try and make money. It was that, that reason that feels, that makes the end of this, like, just feel kind of like, eh, like, I could get give less shits about it but i'm still gonna make a video because it still was a big part of my channel big part of my life and i just need to mention it because well this is the last video i'm making this is a warning to y'all this is the last video i will be making on this light unless this slide does a complete 180 which it won't <laughs> i'm saying it now it won't like i said the things that they needed to fix is add more espers to the esper fusion legendaries not just epics and if they give you r6 Jin Yu yao and r6 uh, phantom sisters because they already give you a free copy like i don't understand why they just don't give you that it would be nice they would also have to remove them from the uh gotcha pool and then you know take the divinity system away from the gotcha because it ruins a lot of things um i would say that wouldn't fix the game what you have to do really is just double the chances for legendaries and epics well actually no you get a lot of epics so double the chances for legendary that's it and your game would probably be a 180 almost. Just because people would have access to a lot more espers in general. Um, but yeah, the next problem would be all the materials in the game. Like the amount of materials, legendary Billamons and Starmions you get is just so minuscule. And they really try and like tantalize you by giving you just the bare minimum. That at this point it's just become a... Uh, what is it called? Negative returns? What is it called? There's a specific term for it in, in economics. I forgot what the name was. Um, not negative feedback, but uh, something returns. All right. Well, if somebody, it's at the tip of my tongue, but I just, my brain isn't working right now. Depreciating returns? I don't know. There, there's a certain word for it. I forgot what it was called. Decreasing returns, whatever. Basically, it means that. Um, the more time and the more effort you put into the game, the less you get out of it. And the longer you spend on it, the also the less you get out of it. And that's that's basically the gacha gaming industry. They siphon you until the point where you get until where you get to a point where there's literally oh diminishing returns. There we go. This game and the gacha gaming industry in general is a diminishing return like experience for the players and i think that's one thing that every goddamn company needs to change e7 and outer plane have been changing that by making sure that yeah you can spend all of this time and technically it is diminishing returns they're still you know adding stuff to the game so i wouldn't call it a complete game yet um but it's still to the point where you just unlock a hero when you get it like you can completely max out that hero yes you got to spend time playing the game every single day and you got to make sure you grind that side story. But you just get the hero maxed out. Whereas most of these games, it's diminishing returns because you see, you start out, you get the legendary heroes. Getting them at R0, I guess, for dislike themselves or just, you know, the base copies for games is really easy. That's how they hook you. They let you get a lot of these legendaries easily and fast early on. So you're like, oh, this game is actually really fun and free to play friendly. But then what they do is they add the resonance system eventually. They add this weapon system that also has copies as well. And what this does is it means that now the money is what makes the difference. Because you can't actually get it for free without grinding a ton of time. But the problem is that there's a chance to get it. It's not guaranteed. Outer Plane has done this thing where it is literally guaranteed to get shards or pieces of a hero. And all you got to do is blitz five days a turn. I mean, five times a day. Like, it's like, thank you for actually thinking that a game should be progressive and not limiting the player the more they play the game. And this, like, can say, oh, but we release content. Nah, nah. You gave people barely any shimmer records, put the shimmer records literally behind the pay to play. Not even pay to win. It's just a pay to play. Because you literally can't access them without that. I have gotten super lucky, so 
And I don't even really use my legendary shimmers because, again, I can't... They're R0 and I can't upgrade their skills because I don't have any legendary Billamons. So, yeah, it's just... There's way too much wrong with the game. And then, of course, I could keep going, talking about PvP meta and how it's been ruined with all these goddamn espers they've been releasing and unbalancing. And there's just been a lot of shit in the game that has ruined it. And I think it's too late. That's the problem. I think that's why when Daddy Free to Play quit, he just didn't give a fuck because Dislike didn't give a fuck. So why, why should he? Why should I? Why should we as a community? I mean, yeah, I mean, I love the game and it's kind of sad, but that sadness is has been overplaced now by just I I I hate dislike I hate Farlight Games I hate that company because of what they did to a great community to a great game and honestly I think this is going to ruin the mythos gotcha gaming industry because they were the sole face of it for like a year I'm not going to lie as soon as dislike got released most mythos related gotcha games were basically going down the drain, including AFK Arena. And they're trying to save both games, but it, I don't think it's going to work. Farlight game, Lilith games, because you killed this game, it's going to negatively affect your revenue over all your other games because people are not going to see your company as one that literally doesn't give a fuck. Um, yeah, it was about two to three months in the making. Yeah, I mean... Same with me. That That's what I was talking about. As soon as I realized that they were trying to reprimand Daddy Fruit to play for releasing the truth, I was like, oh yeah, I'm eventually going to delete this game. <laughs> like, I just thought in the back of my mind, like, ha. Huh. Okay, so, yeah. Um... Release those so I won't be afraid to hit me up with some upcoming buzz. Oh, yeah, yeah, I need a outer plane. Play. I got to hit him on this game because, again, out a hero with one copy. Just, just to, you know, get him. Um, but yeah, I only got love for... Oh, wait, I can't. only got love for this dude, man. He he carried this game. He made it... Oh, I, I... Something is glitching. What's going on? Wait. Hello? Why can't I view... Oh, there we go. Um... Yeah, I mean, it's kind of sad, but it is what it is. Well, you were a G. Thank you for all the content you made, Daddy Free to Play. This is the end of this slide, y'all. I'm just, I'm just, I'm deflated. I'm drained. I, I, that's it. Well, I guess uh, there's only one thing left to do, am I right? Goodbye, trash of a game. I hope you never grace our doors again unless you do a complete 180. Which is impossible unless they implement literally everything I just said. Which they won't because they're as greedy as they can get. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I've said free is fun. But apparently gotcha gaming industries seem to think that snail's pace crawl is fun. <laughs> so yeah, go fuck yourselves. Um, I mean... What else do you want me to say, people? It's like they actively ruined this light and they literally don't care. And then they're going to release AFK Journey or AFK Arena and YouTubers are going to make videos on it and then they're going to be completely slandered by people because guess what? This company is a piece of shit and nobody should ever work with them. They need to do a serious internal rework. Fire whoever the marketers are. Fire whoever the decision makers are because they are bringing your company to a standstill um i mean yeah that that's pretty much it there's nothing much else to talk about 
As always, thank you everybody for watching AOG Gaming here. If you're enjoying the content, please like and subscribe. Really shows your support. Helps me out. Keeps you up to date my content. Um, 132 subscribers last time I checked, so y'all are amazing. Keep going. Yeah. Sadness. It really just is sadness. Anyway, as always, thank you everybody for watching. And I'll see y'all later in uh, content that is actually fun.